from us at 5. Darius Rouser, the teen accused of shooting six people in two different crimes in Mobile, was supposed to be at a court hearing today. It was postponed. A judge was scheduled to consider the prosecution's request to hold Rouser without bail under Alabama's Anaya's Law, but now Rouser is facing a new charge. Fox News investigative reporter Brendan Kirby now joining us live from Government Plaza. And Brendan, as we first reported last night, Rouser now charged with murder outside of Mississippi Casino. Yeah, that's right, Byron and Lenise, and that's why his hearing here in Mobile has been postponed until next week. One thing is certain, though, Darius Rouser isn't going anywhere anytime soon. The murder charge in Mississippi is related to the shooting death of a native Mobilian shot dead in his car in the early morning hours in September in the parking lot of the Scarlet Pearl Casino in the Iberville. That's something prosecutors likely will use to bolster their argument that Rouser is too dangerous to release. That murder charge adds to Rouser's growing legal problems. He's accused of shooting four people at the paparazzi lounge on Dolphin Street on November 26th. Prosecutors allege that he was trying to kill someone and struck four people at the club. Rouser also stands accused of a home invasion last month on Dukes Avenue. Shots were fired, but nobody was hit. And prosecutors have charged Rouser as an accessory to Carmela Dirks, who's accused of shooting two people at the Beltline Walmart on December 27th. Notwithstanding Rouser's mounting charges, defense attorney Michael Cowley says that his client is innocent of everything. At this point, you know, uh, you know we, he denies the allegations. And um, they, they, as far as we're concerned, they, they've got the wrong person. But we'll know more once we look into it a little bit further. But at this point, he's denied any involvement in any of the allegations, including Mississippi as well. The hearing is now scheduled for Thursday. In addition to the bail hearing under Anaya's law, the judge is also going to take up the issue of whether prosecutors have enough evidence in all of those cases to send them to a grand jury for possible indictment. Reporting live outside Government Plaza, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.